they, the figures would walk around in the plane and be able to go to the other plane. But, you know, it, it was a time where action figures did not lose their values. And when I say value to the, the children, the kids at that time, um, I, th- I think it's different nowadays uh, as far as action figures. Action figures are more for collectors. I think it's more collectors that support the action figure lines than actual kids. All right. Question two, and I agree with you on that for sure. Okay. If you had a choice, if both cartoons were on on Saturday uh, afternoon when you were a kid, G.I. Joe or He-Man, which one would you watch first? Um, I, I would watch G.I. Joe first. Uh, and the reason for, like, G.I. Joe was just action packed because you you uh, you had a, a certain uh, grounded uh, feel to G.I. Joe. Uh, if if you looked at G.I. Joe, there was the story, and then there was the lesson at the end of the story, and then there was a other message like you know, hey, if you see a live wire, don't touch it. You know. Um, I don't know. It was with GI Joe. There was so so many layers, right? The villains, Three right? Men and they left. Yeah, yeah. So um, I, I would say GI Joe had a a a element to it where it kind of uh, went into science fiction, the vehicles and the weapons, and then it was based on ordinary people you know, who had the courage to stand up against a, a, a force of evil who's trying to take over the world. Where He-Man was based in mystic and powers, um, but, you know, it was in another galaxy, you know? Wow, that's great. Well, I kind of agree with you on that, but for some reason, when I was a kid, the first thing that hit me was He-Man. I'm the most powerful man in the universe. <laughs> I don't know, it did something to me. It just gave me that, you know, that oomph. All right, uh, <laughs> Yeah, Real quick, yeah. you know, right before He Man punches the screen and the star comes up, yeah, uh, yeah. me and my brother would just, that. yeah, me and my brother would like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you know, teasing them to uh, punches, man. So, yeah, right. Um, All right, question number three What was your one toy that you always wanted to have, but you didn't have a chance to have it? Is there any specific toy? You probably have it now, but I'm saying that you want it as a child. That you um, Christ Why are people coming in and out? Is my channel okay? We're live, right? I I, yeah, I let you two, three people come in, then they leave. Yeah, we're live. Hmm. But um, I see no guys. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Christ star. He was made of a uh, crystal. Um, he had uh, the Marvel comics. I actually had one, and what happened was, I uh, put him in a freezer, and he couldn't be more than four or five inches tall. And I used to like putting him in the freezer and having that frost on him. So one time I was throwing him up, throwing him up, and he hit the ground. And he just fell in the park, and I was like, ah! I like I screamed and. My brother, my older brother came. He's like, what happened? And <laughs> he was in pieces. So right. my brother took him and then he glued him back together. Um, you know, it was the body that just came apart because there was no screws. It was just kind of like tabs that were stuck together back in the day. And, you know, not like G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe's and Transformers actually had metal parts and stuff. The O-ring inside, the screw. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah. All right, now, my fourth question. Your top five of, of, of childhood cartoons, up to the, your adult, what, what would you rate G.I. Joe, He-Man, Voltron, uh, uh, DC, uh, uh, Spider, Spider, Spider-Man and Friends, or Transformers? Uh, how would I rate them from one yeah. to five? My top five, yeah. right? Um, I would say uh, Transformers, um, Spider Man and his amazing friends. 
you had to get up really